you! Look at you! Clap for yourself, you animals! Happy Friday! And as always on a Friday, the thing we do first, we welcome tonight's guests. Yeah, you hear that music? Her smile so big, she uses a Swiffer for a toothbrush. Former Fox News anchor, Patty Ann Brown. Oh, look at that, huh? When he flies, he never complains about legroom. Fox <laughs> News contributor, Johnny Joey Jones. Yes, she is to put rocks in her pockets on windy days. Fox <laughs> News contributor, Cat Tim. And finally, his shoe size is Escalade. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. Yeah. All right. Before we get to some news stories, you know what it's time for? Yeah. Greg's Leftovers. Oh, mm. man. Yeah, it's leftovers. <laughs> where I read the jokes we didn't use this week, and as always, it's my first time reading these, so I'm very nervous. Here we go. A recent AP poll reveals that a majority of Democrats would not support a 2024 Biden presidential campaign. In response, Joe said if he does run in 2024, he promised it'll be a great first term. <laughs> Struggling retailer Bed Bath & Beyond recently avoided a bankruptcy filing after an injection of $225 million in funds. Unfortunately, that shrinks to $180 million once creditors use their 20% off coupons. <laughs> coupons are murder, man. That's a lot. A San Francisco City Supervisor suggested legalizing prostitution following complaints that it's taken over high traffic areas. If the measure passes, hookers can go about their business as long as it's in the back of a Prius. <laughs> Count me out. Yeah. <laughs> Before the State of the Union on Tuesday, Mitt Romney went after Congressman George Santos, berating him for lying on his resume. Santos responded by accusing Romney of fibbing on his resume, where he says, Republican. In a new interview, Army Hammer, that's the actor, his, his estranged wife, Elizabeth Chambers, claimed he broke her heart in nine million pieces. To his credit, though, he did eat all of them. <laughs> he cl claims to like cannibalism. I know Patty Ann wasn't aware of that. <laughs> Following his official retirement from the NFL, Tom Brady stripped down to take an underwear selfie. When asked if it was a thirst trap intended for ex-wife Giselle, he replied, no, only fans. <laughs> See, because it's a double entendre. Pop star Sam Smith made headlines this week after a satanic-themed performance at the Grammys. The performance had many industry experts wondering if he sold his soul for some pancakes. Because <laughs> he's fat. Actually, Sam is non-binary, which means nutritionists were really ahead of the curve when they warned us to look out for those damn trans fats. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Truly a leftover. Arnold Schwarzenegger was reportedly involved in a car accident Sunday morning after a woman riding a bike swerved into his lane. Everyone is fine, which is good, because the last time Arnold hit a woman he barely knew from behind, this happened. <laughs> That's good. You leave Arnold alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's my hero. Pictures of Ben Affleck's miserable facial expressions while he was at the Grammys Sunday night have gone viral. The last time Ben looked that unhappy, he was at a screening of all of his movies. <laughs> Finally, a sleeping commuter on a New York City subway awakened to find a large rat crawling all over his body. Yeah, it was such a disturbing sight, several of his fellow passengers actually stopped having sex. <laughs> now! 
Yeah, you know, let's do some news, okay? But first, we're letting you choose what we're going to cover. It's time for... The audience decides the story! The drill. I give you two topics, and whichever gets the most applause wins. It's the same way Lou Dobbs would win wet t-shirt contests. <laughs> <laughs> In the week ending February 4th, the advanced figure for unemployment claims was 196,000, an increase of 13,000 from the previous week's unrevised level of 183,000. So it's a slight uptick. But what does this mean for our economy going forward? Okay, let's hear your applause. Wow, wow that sucks. <laughs> Tyrus applauded. All right, here's the second uh, story. The Canadian teacher with giant fake breasts. <laughs> filthy. Filthy, filthy people. Well, Big Boobs wins again. <laughs> Hit it! If it happens up there, we report down here. You're watching Gazumba Gate, Canada 2023. Week 21. Wow, it's almost a half a year. You remember her, the teachers whose boobs are so big you'll need a Sherpa to climb them. Well, she's back. A brand new photo was taken of her inside the high school where she teaches students how to work with wood. No, no, around her, wood definitely doesn't mean they're aroused. But speaking of wood, she's hobbling along on a pair of crutches with an unknown injury. However, if she falls over, I'm confident she'll bounce right back. <laughs> and when students saw those shadows, that meant six more weeks of nipples the size of doorknobs. <laughs> Talk about the school of hard knockers. <laughs> to beef up this segment, here's some more trans news from our neighbors to the north. Western University in Ontario is reportedly installing 150 machines inside men's bathrooms that will dispense tampons. It's part of an initiative to support, quote, students who menstruate. I know, didn't there used to be a name for people who did that? I'll have to check with my gynecologist. <laughs> P.A.B., you're a woman. Allegedly, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever think you'd live in a time where men menstruate? Yeah. Uh the whole thing is crazy. And, you know, my question really, though, is why do these college students feel, regardless of which bathroom you put them in, that they're entitled to free menstrual products to begin <laughs> with? You know, and your problem is the is the philanthropy. I, I, among, among many other things. But the, the university, Western University, put out a statement saying menstrual products are not a luxury. They are a necessity. Period. Yes. <laughs> Literally. Literally. That's what it says. But, I mean, you know, a lot of things are necessities. They all need clothing. They need toilet paper. Is everyone supposed to provide these things for them for free? And, and, it's, and then to ones who are delusional, who ones who, people who claim they're men yes. but have periods. Yes. This is crazy. Okay, so Joey, Johnny, Joey, whatever your name is today, I don't know. <laughs> if you look at these two stories, effectively what you're seeing is a, we're looking at a culture that's paralyzed uh, by fear of being ostracized. So we're, we're seeing a delusion take place, but nobody can pop that balloon, so to speak. You know, as someone who is uh, a huge fan of giant and prosthetics... Yes. <laughs> ...really didn't think somebody could pick that up for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't get it. I think that um, if you go through the surgery and that's just the size of what you came out with, that's one thing. Right. But when you're just strapping it on in the morning with the wig, like, that's still a dude and he doesn't get to wear them to school, right? Like, my yeah. kid can't wear anything to school. Like, they let him wear pajamas to school, which is ridiculous. He wears sweatpants to school. But now they've got teachers wearing just giant prosthetic to school. I don't get it, man. No, it, it, it's it, the thing is, he is a fetishist. Yes. He's not a woman. This perversion. Yeah, or he is pulling off, like I say, Kat, the greatest prank ever. It's now 21 weeks. He's been keeping true to form. I mean, he's not breaking character at all. Even when he skydived and his wig fell off. <laughs> <laughs> he is gorgeous, though, let's be honest. 
I mean, eat your heart out, Sam Smith. <laughs> or Army Hammer. <laughs> Cat? Oh, uh, what's wrong? No, I just, I said last time we talked about this, would somebody from Canada please reach out to me and give me any inside information so I have something more to add? <laughs> because it's, it's it, like, basically we're talking about this again because there's a photo with crutches. Right. Like, that, that's all, I need more. I need Canada, I need your help. And honestly, I did not bring this up last time, but I am gonna go there this time and say, you guys owe me because people like me have contributed a lot to your economy. Yeah, that is true. What about tampons? No, no, people, I, I'm serious. What? Because. Uh, people like me, who were 19 years old, living anywhere around the Detroit area, oh. spent a lot of money getting drunk legally in Windsor. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> okay? And it wasn't always easy the next morning when you wake up in that hotel room with five of your friends, okay? Yes. But I did it, Canada, for your economy. And you need to reach out and help me because next, every time there's a mention of the boob teacher, we're talking about the boob teacher again. Mm -hmm. uh, tampons, I don't, I'm pro tampons. Like, I don't know. Like, you know what's more expensive than a tampon? not having a tampon. Mm. <laughs> that is true. Think about it. <laughs> yeah, in your face, tampon haters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here, I, you know, Tyrus, how there was like, if you look back in the past, they have names for eras, like the Enlightenment, the Dark Ages. Isn't this like the delusional era? Like, we're not allowed to poke, this, poke the hole in this thing. No, it's the dumbass era, and you are go. you entertained? Yeah. No, no, you. You voted for this. <laughs> Are you entertained? You got what you wanted. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm with Cat on this one. There's just <laughs> so no, as as President Ruhr would say, they're there yeah. with this here, you know. But here's the thing. Ladies, you thought the fellas took too long in the bathroom now? Yeah. Where do you see us come out with tampons in our nose and be like, <laughs> look how absorbent these things are. These are amazing. Oh, there's so many things I could use them for. It's going to lead to more arguments, more problems. One thing for fellas, though, why is there a tampon in your truck? Oh, I was in the bathroom last night, and I grabbed one by accident, darling. So, I mean, you got breath that going for you. Mints, right? Yeah, with right next to the breath mix and the dental dam. Yes. <laughs> it's true, though. It's like, if you think about it, they run out of toilet paper. A tampon's like a super absorbent roll of toilet paper. Yeah. It, I, like I said, I had a bloody nose once. Yeah. And my mom, thinking fast, was like, here. And I was like, no, no, this is perfect. It absorbed everything. And it has a little string. I can pull it out. It was amazing. I had no idea that my mom <laughs> gave me a go. tampon to stick in my nose. But hey, bloody nose was gone. There you go. I think we're absorbent. I felt very fresh. This is a, <laughs> quite an instructional show, I have to say. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.